ask what is your objective uh, what is your objective, universal, and absolute standard by which you evaluate Greek manuscripts and their variants? Please be specific. <laughs> oh, well, there is no such thing, obviously. What you do, of course, is you have certain sets of standards that you utilize in looking at the, the date, the quality of the manuscript, uh, its completeness, um, and then you look at each variant as a unit. And so, for example, uh, and this is difficult for those who don't work in the field to, to really understand, um, but one of the reasons that I'm uh, doing doctoral work on P45 is that scholars recognized that P45, which is an extremely unusual manuscript because it contains portions of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts. It's the only manuscript we have that does that. Um, it seemed to have different... Uh, it was drawing from different exemplars that had differing textual flavors and backgrounds to them. And so what would that, that would mean is that you can identify uh, its textual flavor in Acts, that is, it lines up with P74 this number of times and Vaticanus this number of times, but the Byzantine text this number of times. But it's going to be different in John. It's going to be different in Mark, especially Mark's the, the, the key one where it really seems to line up a lot with Codex, Codex Washingtonianus. So the point is that you don't just take a stiff set of rules and just clomp it down on everything. You look at it and go, what can, what can we learn from this? And, and my doctoral advisor and I, uh, he did his PhD under Metzger. We were looking at this as an opportunity to shine light uh, back into the very earliest period of time, the transmission of the text of the New Testament in light of what sources uh, the, the scribe of P45 would have. And so, therefore, you're looking at different texts, you're looking at different characters of texts, and then you are applying certain canons. And, of course, the whole issue of eclecticism is you have people who will emphasize more strongly uh, internal uh, issues and others who emphasize external issues. I'm more of an externalist as far as that is concerned. Um, but everyone looks at uh, all of those issues, as did Erasmus, as did Beza. This is not some postmodern Kafka-esque stuff. That's just absurd. This is how everyone through church history has done this. This is how Jerome did it. This is how Origen did it. This is how everybody has done it, because it's how you have to do it. You have to look at the manuscripts. You have to let them speak um, to each individual uh, variant that you're examining. Thank you, Dr. White. We just have what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul.